Okay, so we're going to be doing the reaction at half scale from what it gives us in the textbook, just because in the textbook it makes up a huge amount of this stuff, um, and I don't know that I need quite that much. Um, so the first step is to dissolve 36 grams of sodium sulfide nonahydrate in 50 mils of water. We are then going to take this solution and we are going to use this to dissolve 17 grams of our antimony trisulfide which I have over here and as you can tell it is only partially dried um, I'll tell you what man this stuff probably makes an amazing pigment because it sticks to fucking everything everything it sticks to my hands I have washed my hands like five different times today and they're still stained orange from this crap it is unfucking real um, I had a slight spill of it yesterday and you can see that shit is still there I have washed that with a hose I've done everything short of scrub that fucking thing down with a scrub brush so yeah if you're looking at making your own pigments at home this is probably a good choice for orange. <laughs> anyway, so um, the way that this is supposed to go, from what I understand, is that our sodium sulfide solution will react with the antimony trisulfide to form um, the sulfide, will react with the sulfide to form polysulfides, and that will cause all of this to be soluble. Once it all dissolves, we are then going to take some powdered sulfur that we have down here. We're going to add that into this, and then we're going to reflux this bad boy until all of the sulfur dissolves. At which point we go through a whole process of crystallizing it, and um, you can recrystallize it, and voila, we will have pure sodium thioantimonate. So, I will come back when the sodium sulfide has finally dissolved and I'm ready to move on to the next step. Alright, so, now all of our sodium sulfide is dissolved. Very nice, that didn't take very long at all. And now we are going to add it into here. You can tell I added a little bit of water in here. Oh! Wow! Gee! That went a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. Kick ass. You still focused, you piece of shit? Well, hopefully it won't take long to get the chunks dissolved there. Since we have to reflux it anyway, I am going to go ahead... Well, the heat's already on. Um... And I'm just going to let this stir until all of the antimony trisulfide has dissolved. And then I will add in the sulfur and set up a reflux. I'll come back then. Okay, so that did not take long at all. Like, I don't know that I would even bother with putting a reflux column on it, to be honest. Um, just wrapping it up in foil and heating it up, it said it needed to gently reflux until everything was dissolved. I mean, everything is dissolved. That didn't take very long at all. Maybe 10, 15 minutes? So, anyway, um, I, I was really expecting that to take a lot longer based on how the textbook was reading. So, I am just going to transfer this. Um, the textbook says to evaporate it over on a boiling water bath. But now we are supposed to heat this up and evaporate it down um, until we get to a point of crystallization. So, I will come back when that happens. Okay, so it turns out that I had to um, 
filter a whole bunch of black crap out of my solution and then after I did that um, I went ahead and started evaporating it down in the evaporating dish um, it is just now starting to form a crust of crystals which is rapidly getting thicker um, the textbook says once this has crystallized um, to dissolve it in well to recrystallize it from an equal weight of water uh, to the product with a quarter of a gram of sodium hydroxide dissolved in it um, I don't know why I presume that this stuff has to be in an alkaline environment I guess um, I'm not sure I, I don't know if water will hydrolyze it or not that has not been my experience um, like just working with it here water just seems to dissolve it but anyway we will go along with what the textbook says um, so I'm gonna let this solidify and then we will go from there I'm not sure if it's going to um, turn into a completely solid chunk which sometimes happens um, with hydrates they will get down to a point like this and then you'll basically end up with a solid mass that has very little liquid left in it I don't know I guess we'll see okay everybody you can see our nice beautiful crystalline product in there you may not be able to see that it's crystalline but trust me it is sparkling in the sunlight it is definitely crystalline um what i am going to do now is to recrystallize it from an equal weight of a solution containing um 250 milligrams of sodium hydroxide um the textbook said to do this with you know it's equal weight of a solution that contained half a gram but we're doing everything at half scale so we are doing it with 250 milligrams of sodium hydroxide. Um, the weight of this was about 53 grams. Um, it isn't actually 53 grams. This stuff was pretty hygroscopic, the crude product. Um, I kept it covered up overnight, but there was a layer of liquid on top of the cake of crystals. So, uh, whatever. Um, this is close enough. So, all I'm going to do now is I am going to let this heat and stir and when everything dissolves I will take it off the heat and allow it to recrystallize and we'll try to get a nice time lapse of it and see if we can't give you a good show so fingers crossed here we go okay everybody so I couldn't get a time lapse of the crystallization because it it takes a long time but look at that shit man this is the recrystallized product right here. Focus, you piece of shit. Look at the size of those crystals. Those are huge. Those grew overnight last night. That is fucking wild. Look at that shit. Nice top-down view there. Those things are massive. You can see they grew out from um, around the stir bar there. That's where it all started. Look at that shit. That is fucking amazing. Um... So this is, um, obviously that's the solid. Here is the liquid. I just decanted this off of this just now. Um, and then I'm rushing to get it all on film because it is kind of hygroscopic. Um, or at least it has been up until now. Um, so the textbook says from this point to, for this last little bit of, um, filtrate here, we can crystallize out more of our product by adding alcohol to it so got my alcohol there and I am just going to add some of this here I can't believe people actually drink this crap I'm like drinking gasoline <laughs> all right check it out very cool um I've got enough to do what I, I, I want to do, so <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to waste any more ethanol on this. I mean, it's we've got plenty. Um, so, there you go. And look at that shit. That is so fucking great, man. Look at it. It's so cool. I, I can't... I don't think I've ever had a product 
crystallize out where it made such gigantic crystals like that. That is really something else. And what's really funny is that um, this stuff does not smell that bad. Given everything that went into it, you would think it would smell like ass, but it really doesn't. It's, um, I mean, it does smell like ass, you know, because it's sulfur compound, but, um, it is not that bad. So, that's cool as fuck, man. <laughs> I love it. So, anyway, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, well, then what the hell ever. Um, subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks if you can. And until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. That really is so cool, man. That is beautiful. That is absolutely stunning.